Hello guys! We are from group Mini Project 20. So today we will be exploring about the trends among group and period in periodic table for ionization energy. So let's, let's get started! This is the modern periodic table. Thanks to Anthony Lefraser, Johan O'Brien, John Newtons, Lotta Mayer, Dimitri Mendeji, and Henry J.G. Mosley, we have arranged the periodic table based on its properties. Based on the modern periodic table, the elements are arranged into rows and columns based on their atomic number. There are many columns called periods. We know the electrons are distributed in various shells around the nucleus. The period represents the outermost shells to which electron is added. Elements with the same number of electrons in their optimal shell called valence shell. This ionization energy is the minimum energy required to remove one mole of valence electron from one mole of gases atoms. This can be represented by equation mg in gases state to mg plus in gases state plus electron. The amount of energy required is directly related to the attraction of the nucleus for the most loosely bond valence electron. There are three main factors affecting the ionization energy of an atom. The first factor is the attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron. The energy required decreases as the distance between the nucleus and the valence electron increases when going down a group and increases as the distance between them decreases going across a period. The last factor is inertial electron. As the number of electron shells increases between the nucleus and the valence electron, the repulsion between the electrons or the screening effect also increases. The valence electron will be less friendly held. The first ionization energy increases across the period. The first electron is removed from the same energy level. Electrons are added in the same energy level. Screening effect is approximately constant. Thus, the valent electrons are attracted more strongly to the nucleus, increasing the ionization energy across the period. I will show you example using the graph. The first ionization energy across period 2 and 3 does not increase uniformly. In period 2, there is two dips, one from beryllium to boron and other from nitrogen to oxygen. Period 3 also has the same pattern, one is from magnesium to aluminium and the other from phosphorus to sulfur. The first ionization energy from beryllium is higher than expected as compared to boron because the first electron to be removed is from fully filled S orbital. Electron configuration for beryllium is 1s2, 2s2, while boron is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. The 2s2 configuration has additional stability, making the electron more difficult to be removed than 2p1. Electron configuration for magnesium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, while from aluminium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Magnesium loses a fully filled 3s2 electron, while aluminium loses an unpaired 3p1 electron, which has less stability. According to Hasso, half filled and fully filled p orbitals are have their own speciality. This rule applies to the first ionization of the nitrogen and phosphorus are more higher than the oxygen and sulfur, respectively. As you can see, the electron configuration for nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, while oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, while phosphorus is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3, and as sulfur is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p4. For both nitrogen and phosphorus, the first electron is removed from half the orbital which is more stable. From the previous statement, the ionization energy is actually affected by the stability of electron configuration. Element with more stable electron configuration has higher ionization energy. First ionization energy decreases down the group. As the atomic number increases, nuclear charge becomes increasingly positive. When moving down a group, electrons are added into a new energy level. Although nucleus gain positive protons, the electrons are held less tightly, decreasing the ionization energy down a group. So first, let's take a look at the table that shows 
first and second ionization energy of group 1 elements. For all the group 1 elements, there is a big increase between the first and second ionization energy as shown in the table. These elements readily lost one electron to form a one positive ion, but highly improbable for them to lose two electrons to form a two positive ion. So, the big quantum jump in the second ionization energy indicates that the second electron must be removed from a fully filled shell. Now, in the group 2, there are three ionization energy based on the table given. They have higher ionization energy than group 1 elements because of the smaller atomic size, which means that the auto electrons are closer to the nucleus. By forming two positive ions, the animal lost two electrons to form a stable noble gas configuration. Losing the third electron requires high energy so there will be a big quantum jump in energy as shown in table. Hence, it is very improbable for group 2 elements to do so. So, let's perform us from MP20 hoping that you get more understanding on the trends among groups and creates in predictable thank you for watching bye